going for a million points. You can't score a million points in this game. I hope. going. Look! <laughs> Hello, kids. I'm the Blastronaut. Do you think you could help me? What can we do? Let's talk about it in here. to Blasteria. What's hysteria? Blasteria. It's home for a lot of us. It's a land made of numbers. Look at the road we're on. Number line lane crosses all of Blasteria. Every marker post is a number. As you go toward the city, each number is one higher. If you move in the other direction, each number is one lower. That way we always know where we are in Blasteria. But this post doesn't have a number. Hey, none of the posts have numbers. That's the problem. Someone is taking most of the numbers in Blasteria. The numbers on the computer screen disappeared, too. Only one person can solve this mystery. The processor. Great! Where do we find the processor? The processor lives several numbers farther along this road, beyond that gate. You could walk there quite easily. Will you help? Of course. Let's go! It's locked. Anyone home? I guess the answer to that's no. Someone have a key? Look, a kiwi bush. But all these kiwis have different numbers on it. It could take hours to find the right one. We have to get back home by dinner time. Well, thank you for trying anyway. Hmm, this gate is two more than seven, but six less than 15. Wait, we can make this into a math problem. Just what we need. It is, look. Let this be number line lane. We know that every marker on the road is either one number higher or one number lower, depending on which direction you go. We can make a number line that does the same thing. Think of the clues on the sign. This gate is two more than seven, but six less than 15. Let's say the spot on the number line is seven. This gate is two more than seven, and more than means you should add. When you add, you go in this direction, and you will get a larger number. In this case, nine. Hold it. The clue also said, but six less than 15. Less than means you should subtract. We can do that on the number line, too. Let this point be 15. To find a point that is 6 less than 15, we should move to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. See? 9 again. We must be at gate 9. Oh, good. Get a 9 from the kiwi bush. Get one that's ripe. Oh, here's one. Yay! It worked! Let's go! Nothing can stop us from finding the processor now. Lead the way! I'm sorry, but I'm not going. I must stay here and guard the numbers that remain. Go to the next marker. I fit in an extra bag of numbers there. You can use them to replace the numbers on the markers. And when you reach Processor's Palace, the processor will help you. Bye now. Okay. Bye.
push. The bag of numbers should be here somewhere. Here it is. Now what number goes on the marker? The gate was nine, and this is one greater, so it's a 10. That was easy. We'll be at the processor's house in no time. The little do-gooders think it's easy. <laughs> they obviously don't know fall over Cromwell at all. <laughs> well, why didn't you say something when they were here? We could have introduced ourselves. That's not what I meant, Crawley. I meant that they don't realize I will stop at nothing. Soon, I will possess every number in Blasteria. <laughs> the entire land will be helpless without numbers. <laughs> and do you know why I'm doing this, Crawley? Uh, do you have any idea? No. <laughs> of course you don't. Because uh, I am really mean. <laughs> Come on, we'll follow them for a while and see what happens. <laughs> oh! You fool, why are you so clumsy? We well, ran into me first. Don't talk back to me. Come on! Brad, do you hear something back there? Yeah. Do they have bears in Blasteria? Let's walk faster. I hope it's not much further to the processor's place. I'm starving. What I wouldn't give right now for... A pizza! Yeah, maybe someone delivers inside computers. Brad, do you by any chance remember that $5 you owe me? Not a chance. I'll be back in about half an hour. Brad! Excuse me, sir. Yes? When do you open? I am closed. I do not open. Business has been so good. I have had to close. <laughs> it's a sad day for Papa Roy. <laughs> but why close if business is good? You are right. I will put this sign up, and then you come inside, and I explain to you, eh? Come in. Welcome to my shop. Let me show you how I list my orders. If a customer orders one pizza, I place one symbol here. If a customer orders two pizzas, I place two symbols here. Only now, there are so many symbols. How can I possibly know how many pizzas I have to make all together? Simple. Add all the pizzas together to get the number you need. How do you know that? You told me. See, you want to know the number of pizzas you need all together. All together is one of the clue words of addition. But, uh, but these are pizzas. I thought you could only add numbers together. By the way, have you noticed a definite shortage of numbers around here lately? Yes, but that's another story. We have some replacements. 
Each pizza is the same as the number one, right? Si. Look, you have one, two, three pizzas here. And one, two, three, four, five in this group. So that's the same as three plus five equals... Eight! I know that. That's easy. <laughs> now I can open my shop again. Excuse me. Hello? Leaning Tower of Pizza? Hey, Papa speaking. Yes? Oh, yes, I see. Your company will not be coming, therefore you will need four fewer pizzas. <laughs> it's no problem. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, you clumsy! Oh. Give me that! Thanks to you, my friends. I know just where I am. They will need four fewer pizzas, so I will add... Wait! What's the matter? They want the four fewer pizzas, so I have to find the total. So I add four fewer pizzas. Papa, some clue words mean you should subtract, not add. And fewer is one of those words. You have a total of eight pizzas here. See? You want to know how many you would have if you had four fewer. Eight minus four equals four. Mm, clue words for addition, clue words for subtraction. How can I keep it all straight in my mind? Brad, how about the song we learned about clue words? Yeah, let's sing it for Papa. When you have numbers and you want the sum, sum is the clue word used as rule of thumb. Words like plus total all together add, they should make you glad. The mean addition is what you use, so just look for the clues. I have some numbers, when do I subtract? Look for the clue word, you'll know how to act. Words like left minus difference or less, you won't have to guess. The mean subtraction is what you do, so just look for the clue. Let's say someone orders 20 pies, then they want 10 less. What's the orders? I, I could not guess. How many less? Oh, I subtract. Now that's a fact. 20 minus 10 is 10. Oh, they changed their minds again. They want eight more pizzas. Now it's 10 plus 8. Plus means addition. Hey, you're doing great. It means the sum. I'm glad you come. It's nice to know I'm not so dumb. We, we don't, don't want to stop. stop. Now I can open up my shop. Hey! Oh, how can I thank you? Uh, I am a poor man. I have not got much in this world, except some amazingly delicious pizzas in the oven. Very hot. Hmm? I think we can make a deal. <laughs> The last marker was 16. This one must be 17. Look, this mailbox doesn't have an address. Let's replace that too. What are you doing? Sorry, we're going to the processor. We're replacing all the missing numbers along the way. Oh, that's different. I thought you were the persons who were stealing the numbers. Oh, no. Who could be so mean? I'm sorry. Those numbers are very important to me. Hello. My name is... Memory. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brad. Hi, 
I'm Melissa. Nice to meet you, Bob. You too, Mindy. Uh, that's Brad and Melissa. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't seem to remember anything since those numbers have disappeared. You see, I use numbers to help me remember things. Everything that happens in all of Blasteria, actually. If I don't do my job, then nothing in Blasteria works properly. Like the job I was doing before I saw you out here. It's got me stumped. You two look awfully good with numbers. Maybe you could help me. Let's go, Benny, come on. What's he doing, sleeping back there? I don't know, he's taking a break on his break. Uh... these boxes of numbers? Very nice. Square and everything. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you what the problem is. See, I have many orders to fill, and the first one involves these 20 boxes. And my order says I have to ship all but five to the processor. Now, how can I find the number I need? Forget it. It's too complicated. It's not worth it anyway. Pay no attention to those negative numbers. Anyway, do you have any idea how I can fill this first order? It's a subtraction problem. Subtraction? Hmm, sounds familiar, but I can't quite recall. You know you have 20 boxes here. The processor wants all but five. It's the same as an equation with one of the numbers missing. <laughs> that can't be right. Brad, set it up for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This I gotta see to believe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will. But if I'm right, you have to promise to be positive for a whole day. Oh, well, sure. Okay, fine. Yeah. Could I borrow a pen? Oh, yeah, a pen. Let me see, where did I put my... We know we have 20 boxes in this stack. We have to ship all but five. The problem is, how many will be left to send to the processor? To find how many will be left, subtract 5 from 20. 20 minus 5 equals 15. Pure luck. <laughs> yeah, uh, look, best two out of three. All right, yeah. I got a problem for you to solve. <laughs> okay, I got 17 boxes I got to stack on this skid. I've already stacked nine. How many more do I have to put on the skid? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's just another way of stating a subtraction problem. If you know the number you want to finish with is 17, and the number you already have is 9, then you can subtract 9 from 17 to find how many more. 9 from 17 leaves 8. Well, that was, uh... Very good, I guess. Yeah, uh, it's uh, very helpful, you know, sort of. Yeah. Well, you've certainly been a great help. Come on. We're here. We're here to pick up the order for the processor. Yeah. Oh. Okay, um, let me see, I... Hey, don't I know you? It seems like we've met somewhere before. Can't be. I just started working here today. Oh. Well, no matter. It's not as if you're in disguise or anything. <laughs> that sound again. It seems to be everywhere. If only I had all my numbers, I'd remember where I heard that giggle before. We'll take those numbers now. Oh, yeah, it's right over there on the skid. You fool! I'm trying to remember a saying we have in Blasteria about a kind of person who's so clumsy they trip over their own shadow. <laughs> Pick up the numbers, Crawley. Pick them up! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Honestly, those two are clumsy enough to be bugs. You mean insects? Oh, no, here in Blasteria, bugs are creatures who live only to cause trouble. What do they look like? Well, that depends. They're masters of disguise. But you can spot them. They have terrible manners. And they're so clumsy that nothing around them ever stays unbroken for long. 
Maybe the bugs took the numbers. Hmm, I doubt it. Only their leader, Fallover Crumwell, is capable of something like that. And he's safely away in jail at the Processor's Palace. Oh, hey. Please take these quarters as a token of my thanks. Besides, you're gonna need money to cross the toll bridge at the Processor's Palace. If they let you cross. Uh, thanks for the quarters. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Bye, Mary. Bye, take care of yourself. I hope you remember everything. Oh, I'm sure I will. Brad and Melissa. There it is, the Processor's Palace. We made it in plenty of time. What do you want? Uh, to cross the bridge. Oh, you do, huh? Well, cross the bridge doesn't let just anyone who tosses a dime at me go skipping across my bridge. I have my standards, you know. Please, Mr. Bridger, it's very important. We must see the processor. Well, I don't know. I haven't let too many people pass since this bridge started costing 10 cents to cross. Exactly how many people have you allowed to cross? Exactly? Well, exactly none. Now, it's not that I don't want to let people use this bridge. It's just almost no one ever has exact change. You see, I never learned how to make change. It's all so complicated. Not really. Once you know what coins are worth, making change is just like solving an easy math problem. Suppose I gave you this quarter to pay for the 10 cent toll. What would you do? I'd send you packing, young whippersnapper. Right, but now think of it as a math problem. A quarter is the same as 25 cents. The toll is only 10 cents. To get your change, you subtract 10 from 25. Yes. I see it now. The toll is 10 cents, young man. What's this, a quarter? Well, that's no problem. 10 cents subtracted from 25 cents is 15 cents. The toll is 10 cents, young lady. Oh, I'd also like two tourist guidebooks, please. Hold on. 10 cents for the toll, plus two guidebooks at five cents each. How do I keep it all straight? Think of it as a problem that asks for both addition and subtraction. Suppose I buy two tourist guidebooks at five cents each and pay the toll. To find what I owe, I would add five plus five plus 10, which equals 20. Then subtract 20 from the card I give you. The answer is five. My change is five cents. Yes. And here's your change, young lady. And your guidebooks. Let's cross this bridge together. I present Master Brad and Miss Melissa. Well, I've been expecting you for quite some time now. Where have you been? We met all these people, and we had to replace the numbers on number line lane. Who cares? <laughs> I thought he was supposed to be nice. It's too late anyway. All the numbers have been returned. It was all just a little mix-up. <laughs> Now go home! All right, if that's the way you feel about it, return us to gate number nine on the number line lane and we won't bother you again. Return you? What do you think I am? Your chauffeur? 
No, what I think you are is very rude. Where are your manners? No one questions my manners! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you found me. I'm the processor. If you're the processor, who's that? That is the leader of the bugs, Fallover Crumwell. So, you found me out. Well, you may think you've won, but you haven't. <laughs> Crawley! <laughs> I shall return. And when I do, no more, Mr. Nicebag! <laughs> You must be Brad and Melissa. The Blastronaut told me you were coming, but Cromwell took me prisoner, so I was unable to give you a proper welcome. But now, welcome. Boy, Cromwell had me fooled. Mm -hmm. I thought he really was the processor. I mean, living in this palace and everything. Oh, I know. You probably didn't expect anyone like me living here, did you? <laughs> no, it does take some getting used to. But now that you're both here, I'm afraid I must ask you a favor. Please, come with me. I heard Cromwell say that all the numbers he stole, he put into this chest. Great, let's get them out. Oh, no, no, that's not that simple. You see, this is a security chest. Only the right combination of numbers will open it. If we use the wrong combination, it will seal itself forever, and Blasterio will lose most of its numbers. Who has the combination? Ah, well, Cromwell changed the combination just before you got here. But our little bug isn't as smart as he thinks he is. I saw him change the combination. So, let's set the dial numbers to 11, 3, and 8. Wait, look at these. And look at the space between the numbers. Maybe these numbers represent a math problem. Ooh. Well, I, I, I hope that you're right, but how do we know which operation to use? Well, if I'm right, look at the first group of numbers, 11, 3, and 8. If it's an addition problem, the plus sign would go here, and it would read 11 plus 3 equals 8. But that can be right. When you add, you get a larger number, and 8 is smaller than 11. Right, so if it's a problem, it must be a subtraction problem. And 11 minus 3 does equal 8. Hmm, oh, I think you are right. But what about the second number group? 16, 4, and 20. 20 is more than 16. So if we add 4 plus 16, we'll get 20. Oh, I think it's worth trying, Melissa. Go ahead. Sixteen plus four equals 20. We did it. Bless. Dearie, it will have most of its numbers back. Oh, how could I ever thank you two? Just get us home, in time for dinner. Oh, yes. once again. Please let me do something to show you my gratitude. How about something to eat? Oh, I know. How about a pizza? Yes. No. We just ate three slices of pizza for lunch. Yeah, but that lunch was at 12. Oh, well, hmm. Let's go find a clock and see how long ago that was. Come on. 
here is the clock over here. Let's see. Uh, so that is two from 15 is... Oh, land sakes. I don't know how anyone can keep these minutes and hours straight. It's easy when you use halves and quarters. Oh, what does football have to do with this? No, the halves and quarters of a clock face. Every hour on the clock face has 60 minutes. Think of that as the whole. When the minute hand reaches the six, only half an hour has gone by. That's 30 minutes. That's what we mean by half past the hour. Right. And when 15 minutes have passed, you can think of it as one quarter of a whole hour. And two quarters is the same as one half. So every hour of the day has half hours and quarter hours. Why, that's easy. So it's been one, two, and one quarter hours since you had lunch. Oh, you two must be starved. Well, we really should be getting back home. Yeah, it'll be dinner time soon. Oh, that's a shame, because Paparoni, Memory, and Cross will be so very disappointed. Oh, and I was going to invite the Blasternaut. Thank you, Processor, but... Of course, it isn't necessary to have a big pizza. Paparoni makes wonderfully light garlic toast. Uh, garlic toast? Yes, so light that it nearly floats off the plate with just the right amount of golden butter and lightly fresh garlic sprinkled on homemade bread. But of course, I understand if you have to return home. Wait a minute. I mean, maybe we shouldn't leave without saying goodbye to our new friends. Or hello to a loaf of garlic bread. Then you'll stay? I think we can fit it into our schedule. But we really must be home by five. Oh, no problem. I'll just call Paparoni and tell him to expect us. Paparoni, yes, I have a big surprise for you. Melissa and Brad will be over in 15 minutes. Why don't you call Cross and Memory and we'll have a party? Yes, all right then, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. So, everyone except us is going to Paparoni's in 15 minutes. Do you have any idea what this means? Yeah, we weren't invited. It means, my dear Crawley, our work is not yet finished. <laughs> What am I gonna do? My friends, they come in five minutes. How am I gonna go out and say hello and be in the kitchen to do the cooking? I need two more hands. Did I hear someone ask for two more hands? How about four more hands? <sighs> We are two master cooks specializing in pizza and garlic toast. Would you, by any chance, be in need of our service? Oh, son of a gun! That's just what I need. That's a coincidence. I asked for some help, and you come. I'm a lucky fellow. Oh, very lucky. Now, where do we begin? First, we make some dough. <laughs> I don't mean the money kind. <laughs> we use my mama's recipe. She get it from her mama, her mama get it from her mama, her mama use her mama's recipe. Mama, mama mia! Mama... No, 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 mama mia! Well, somebody's mama. <laughs> yes. Now, where do we begin? First, we get some flour. Hmm? Yeah, a few roses might be nice. Not that kind of flour, stupid. This kind of flour. Now, where are you going to get a vase big enough for that? 
my associate here must have his little joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where I hear that sound from? Hmm. Well, let's make some dough. Yes. We need nine cups of flour. Well, what's a cup? Mm. What's a cup? How oh, can you call yourself a Mr. Chef when you do not know what a cup is? Well, you see, it's just a... That we Where we come from, cups are completely different. Yes, completely. Ah, uh, I see. Oh, good. When you take the cup and you fill it and you make it level, that equals one cup. So we need nine cups of flour. That's right. It's one, there's a two, three. Papa, we're here. Coming! Now, you finish the nine cups of flour, and I'll be back when you shake the lamb trail three times. <clears throat> You heard him. Nine cups of flour. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now it's my turn. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine. Are you sure that's only nine cups? Yes. yes. No, 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 no. You added nine cups. You added nine cups, and I added three cups. All we need is nine cups. Nine plus nine plus three is 21 cups. Well, we'll just throw this out and start over again. No, no, no. Let's reason it out. <coughs> We have 21 cups, and we want only nine. How many cups do we have to subtract from 21 to get nine? 21, take away nine, leaves 12. We need to take out 12 cups of flour to leave nine. That was one. This is two. Three, twelve. Uh, now we need to add two cups of water. I believe this is what you call a cup. No, 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 no. This is to measure the dry things in the bowl. This cup is used for measuring wet things, or how you say liquid. Oh, so if we need two cups, we need to use two of these. Oh, yes, you could do that. But you would use this one, the pint. The pint equals two cups, one pint. What's this big measure? It looks <laughs> twice as big as the pint. That's a quart. The quart is equal to two pints or four cups, one quart. That's amazing. <laughs> I wish I could... Well, I doubt if I'll ever use any of this. Well, now you know what it's all about. So, you add the water to the flour, and I'll be right back. <coughs> now. It's time to add a little taste of my own recipe. <laughs> oh, no, not nap time. That's right. One taste of this and nighty night city. <laughs> For how long? That's the best part. It lasts only a few minutes. And it's completely harmless. 
and when everyone is asleep, then we'll make our move. <laughs> <laughs> I think that we need to find a way to honor Brad and Melissa. <laughs> May I propose a toast? Oh, oh yes, yeah. of course. <laughs> and I'm certain that when I speak for all of us, we want to thank you so very much for what you've done. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just grateful to have my addition and subtraction knowledge back. When the bugs took my numbers, I couldn't remember anything. Bugs? What bugs? Oh, you know. They're the, um, who's it that do the, uh, Whatchamacallit? Well, glad you cleared that up. Don't mention it. But at least Melissa and Brad straightened me out about my addition and subtraction. And how to make change. Before that, I couldn't let anyone use the bridge. <laughs> oh dear, no wonder I didn't receive any visitors. <laughs> <laughs> and what about me? <laughs> I was about to close my business oh. before these two wonderful kids come along. And now I got the people coming and going. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> if it had not been for Brad and Melissa, my life oh, would have been dull. Very dull. Mm -hmm. But now, it is so exciting. I hardly have time for anything. I thought I was too old to take a nap. I think I ate too much. Maybe if I sleep for a minute, I'll feel better. Well, I don't care what anyone says. I'm not sleepy. I've got a tow booth to run. You know, there's plenty of pizza left. Would anybody care for a slice? Now, what was it I was trying to remember? Of course! Everybody listen! Brad and Melissa are gone! Oh, oh no, was it something we said? No, it's this note from Fallover Crumwell. He's kidnapped our friends! Oh no! He has two demands. First, he wants a yard full of coins so that he could play video games forever. Yard full? What does that mean? I think we're gonna need a big truck. And second, he wants a royal decree naming him his meanness. Well, that certainly is easy enough. But what are we gonna do about a yard of coins? I don't know. But just for now, we're gonna have to play along with Cremwell's game. Cross, you have a lot of coins at your toll booth. Maybe you and the blaster not can bring enough back here to fill a yard. Yeah. But whose yard will we put it in? Why not use a yard stick? Yeah. Well, since Cromwell was not clear what he meant by a full yard, why not use the measurement? A yard is three feet. All we would have to do is measure a row of coins one yard long. Oh, that wouldn't amount to much at all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now uh, we'll have to get some coins, like Memory said. So, Cross, why don't you do that? And Memory and Paparoni, why don't you go get a yardstick? And I will draw up the royal proclamation naming Cromwell his meanness. I'll use my rocket ship to search for them from the air. <laughs> Come, I think I know where we can find the yardstick. Where are we? I'd say you were right where we want you. You're one of the bugs. Very good. Maybe you should try out for a game show. Why have you brought us here? Fallover Crumwell is holding you for ransom. In return for you, he gets money to play video games and a royal title. And what do you get? Me? Why, 
I get... Uh... You know, Mr. Crawley, it seems like every time you help Cromwell in one of his plans, he gets everything while you do all the work. You don't seem like a bad bug. Why do you act this way? Gee, I don't know. Cromwell always wants me to help him do mean things. And he's my friend, so I listen. But why should I always listen to him? I'm not afraid to stand up and do my own thinking. And don't you think it would be a good idea to take us back to Pepperoni's so we could go back home? You know, I've got an idea. I think I'll take you back to Pepperoni's so you can go home. Good idea, Mr. Crawley. Oh. Hi, boss. All right, that's, that's enough exercise. Now get back into your chairs and stay there. and henceforth be known as his meanness. <gasps> there. We find the yardstick. <laughs> oh, pepperoni. <laughs> this is one foot. A yardstick is three feet. Mm. Well, we'll just use this ruler to measure three feet. I see. That's one foot, two feet, three feet. There. Ah. <laughs> oh. This is everything I have. Quarters, dimes, nickels. Which ones do you want? Well, we want to give Cromwell the least amount of money we can. <laughs> Let's use the dimes. They're the smallest. Well, that's true. But just because a dime is smaller in size doesn't mean it has less value. The quarter is largest. The nickel is second largest. And the dime is smallest. But that is true only according to size. But let me show you what they're worth. The quarter is largest in size, and it's worth 25 cents. And the dime is the smallest of the three coins in size and is worth 10 cents. But the nickel is larger than the dime in size, but it's worth only 5 cents. So if we want to give Cromwell the least amount of money, we make a yard of nickel. Yes! Yeah. Let's get started. All oh, right. There, a yard of coins. Let's see, we used 43 nickels, and that's a total of 215 cents. We only have to give Cromwell $2.15. All right, now, we have a yard of coins, and we have the decree that Cromwell wanted. Now we just have to wait for him to contact us to know where to deliver all this. Can't I trust you to do even the simplest evil deed? We've gone to a lot of trouble to steal these kids. And you, you were going to let them go and spoil the whole thing. I'm sorry. I'll do worse next time. Wait a minute. You bugs are all confused. Why do you always have to go around ruining everything for everyone? The only reason Melissa and I came here was to put back the numbers you guys stole. Now give me one good reason why you'd want to do that. Well, because everyone in Blasteria uses numbers to get along with each other. I thought it would be a neat idea to steal them all and cause trouble. But why? Why? Because, because they don't like us. Because they don't understand us. Because, because we can't seem to learn addition and subtraction. And I thought if I took all the numbers, everybody would be down to my level. Do you realize how embarrassing it is to never know when to add or when to subtract? I've had to hide it all these years. Brad, 
This is almost the same problem Pepperoni had, and the song we taught him really helped. Right. Maybe it would help the bugs. Do you really think you could teach us addition and subtraction? That would be a, a nice thing to do. numbers and you want to sum. Sum is the clue word used as rule of thumb. Words like plus total all together at they should make you glad. They mean addition is what you use. So just look for the clues. I have some numbers. When do I subtract? Look for the clue word. You'll know how to act. Words like left minus difference or less. You won't have to guess. They mean subtraction is what you do. So just look for the clue. You both I couldn't guess. How many less? Oh, you subtract. No, that's a fact. The, the difference, difference is two. We know just what to do. Four plus two plus two, and that makes eight. Plus means addition. Hey, you're doing great. Eight is the sum. We're glad you come. It's nice to know we're not so dumb. Arithmetic is really fun. Hey! Uh, and on top of everything else, the kitchen floor is full with the flour that the bugs have spilled, and I have to clean it all up. And now I track the flour out here on the bottom of my shoes. Just a look. Wait a minute. This isn't your footprint, Papa. No. See, this print is much larger. Mm. Large enough to belong to a bug. I saw another one of those outside on the road. Let's follow them. They might lead us to the bug lair. Yeah. Yes. 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 If only I had some way to practice what I've learned. You have a computer. Oh, of course, of course, of course. My best mischief was done using this little jewel. Why don't you use your computer for good instead of evil? Brad and I use it to study your math facts. You can too. Finally found you, Oliver Cromwell. What have you got to say for yourself? Would anyone like some milk and cookies? Is this another one of your tricks, Cromwell? Yes. Everyone, listen. Mr. Cromwell and Mr. Crawley have changed. They want to help people now. They were only being bad because they didn't know how to add and subtract. But they're learning that now. Well, in that case, I suppose you won't be using this royal decree giving you the title of his meanness, will you? No. I hereby give up my bughood. It's five o'clock. We're going to be late. Oh, well, I think we have enough time to get you home, but, oh, I'm just not sure how this thing works. Our parents are going to ground us for ten years. Please, hurry. Try the return key. I thank you, Crawley. Hi. Hi. 
How are you two kids getting along with that computer? It's great, Mom. Yeah, it gave us all the answers. <laughs>